Hello, welcome to Hairblender Design. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make use of the lens flare effect to achieve quite um, interesting flares and 3D effect in Corel Draw. So let's make a football. So to do that, I'm just going to pick up the polygon tool. Click and drag. You can hold and control so you get a better shape uh, i'll just reduce this a bit so six side fine so like i said in other videos to control this you can hold the node hold on your control it helps you to align shapes okay so align this you can as well choose to just flip this press ctrl d flip this just do that so whichever one is you find much more easier okay so we've done this um, we're going to get a second uh, so just get a second one here so now click all of this and select from the node see how that snaps swiftly so we can just making the bladder the usual bladder bore has this black and white feel okay so with this uh, you can get more duplicate that's Ctrl D to get more done. So I can just reduce this to a force within my page. All right, so you call up the lens flare. You can find that under effect. You have the lens flare or you press alternate F3 on your Docker. You can as well find this click. So you just look out for it on this list. So it's already checked if it's not checked. You check it and you have this flare. So you make a circle and place this circle over a shape and uh, you select the effect. So we're going to use the fish eye. That's what's going to give us the ball effect. So just adjust it to your desired position. You can as well decide how many percent to what extent okay so for the sake of this tutorial uh, let me just do 150 okay that seems so much let's do 100 okay 100 is cool so we can just to bring this out now notice that when i'm moving it it's changing so i can just choose any portion so to get it out, I'll just freeze the point. So freeze the point, so you get another one. So I can uh, take this to another level. Uh, let's let's do something more colorful. Let's do something more colorful. Okay. You can do something more colorful. Just have different colors. All right, so I'm just changing the, the color, the colors of this on here at random. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, I can um, delete this portion. Uh, highlight all of this so let me have more of more of um, the other colors so click select pick any of the nodes okay just get a circle the same thing applied so select the effect you want now I would um, take this to, I'll give this 
a little bit of much more interesting effect though okay so let's do this let's use a shadow tool the drop shadow tool and um, see on the property bar we have the inner shadow and we have the drop shadow tool so let's use the inner shadow click and drag so you see how that fell, falls in so i want to give it get it out on one and uh, just adjust these settings to your taste okay to get that to other effect instead of repeating that you have the drop attribute eyedropper attribute eyedropper too okay on the property bar you can actually decide what you want to copy okay these are properties you're copying the outline and the shadow the text uh you can decide what if you want to copy a rotation so here we want to copy the effect so i want to make use of the shadow okay so copy this shadow so you see how see how that is replacing other colors so we can go to the property and uncheck to copy the color so just uncheck the color and pick that so you can see we have you can apply this for every other box that has color see how it gives it that 3d feel okay so this looks nice so we can have the 3d effect on our ball so let me check Let's take another color for this blacks so we have them changed all right so make our circle just repeat the same thing pick the fish eye okay so you see how that just turns out Uh, let's do 70 200 let me see that too much so let's do 60 okay, freeze this point so you can see what we have here i can take get rid of this so see how we got this nice looking 3d effects on this ball uh, I can make this more realistic to add a 3d effect on it still with our inner shadow click and drag so you see how that turns out okay increase the flare see how that turns out nicely nicely okay can take off the outline uh, leave that there it seems good on that one since the inner part has the outline okay so we can apply the shadow to show where the ball drops so just apply this question blow reduce this a bit so this is what we have send it behind the ball so see how that looks nice can as well do the same for this guy take off all the outline see how it looks with the outline drop this same shadow here on the behind so if you have any question drop it at the section below if you are coming across this channel for the first time 
do not forget to like and subscribe share so that others can benefit from this tutorial thank you very much for watching see you in my next video bye for now